Hello, 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 and welcome to my latest video. This is part two in the Angel Wings series. It's going to be a three-part series. I've recorded so I'm going to record the third over the next week or so, I think. Um, it's inspired by Molly's artistry. She did a Angel Wing diptych, and I loved the idea, um, but decided to do it with my own little twist, so the rainbow colours is the twist, and it being a set of three pairs of angel wings, and the third one, well you'll see that in a couple of weeks. So at the moment I'm just getting the paint spread out over the canvas. I always find it easier just to use my blow dryer to do that. Other people use spatulas, their hands. Sometimes I've used my hands to spread the paint out. Um, but you do, if you're doing fluid art, you do the do it the way that works best for you. Um, the way that works best for me is doing it this way. And I was blowing it out and I blew a cup off the edge just then. Um, but yeah, I I find the first bit of putting the base coat on really relaxing, just getting the paint to cover the canvas, getting it to do what I need to, moving it sometimes from all the way from one corner to the other to get it to go over the edge on the bottom, um, or the other way. Uh, so I always know roughly how much paint I need, but I don't always pour it in the <laughs> evenly along the canvas, so I do end up sometimes, like now, spend a bit longer just coaxing it to go down to the edge. The keen-eyed amongst you will see that there's a gap, a kind of V-shaped gap at the bottom there. The reason that that's there is I've learnt from my last piece. And having the gap there means that I'm not going to have... have to worry about the middle bit of the wings um, basically going into that bit of the canvas because I want that to be negative space. I will come back in and paint that in later. Um, oh, I'm actually doing it right now but not a very thick layer so the paint shouldn't really go too far over that bit. And like the other piece I like these kind of smoky background so I'm going to try and do that again. Um, however, unlike white being put on a black background, and I'm possibly putting a bit too much black paint down on here, this looks amazing as it is to me to be fair, um, <clears throat> the black does kind of start to dominate a little bit, he says with a very squeaky voice. Um, so you get a lot of grey. Um, I don't know. The smarter people in the audience, please tell me why this dominated so much the black on white, but the white on black didn't do as big a thing. Because I, I don't quite get it. I don't know. Oh well. Anyway. <coughs> Moving on, we are going to move on. I'm going to do myself a little bit more white paint because I'd come to the end of what I had. And I apologise for my voice. I have, for some reason, got a little bit of a sniffle. Um, so, um, for those who are not British, um, that means I've, my allergies are playing up, so I'm a bit snotty. So I've put the white there in, so the 
Um, the wings, when I pull them out, will come into that general shape and we'll be going over white paint onto black, which will um, make all of the difference going forwards. And I love how it looks, so the jiggling you can see in the background is me dancing. Um, this one I was dancing to Do You Believe in Life After Love by Cher is the music I had on in the background. And I'm going to leave you to some instrumental music while I pour the paints out. Before I do that, though, I am going the opposite direction on the um, rainbow. So red is the outer colour this time, whereas last time it was purple. Um, so I will leave you and be back in a few moments.
So this is the piece pretty much done. And here is the dried result. As you can see, I flipped the piece round so that the top of the wings is what I perceive to be the bottom on the canvas. And I have gone in and edited out some of the black and smoky area and also given the wings a bit more definition, including going through the middle of the wings. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and join me again next time for a another wonderful video. Bye bye.